Welcome to my Ubuntu desktop. Today, I'll be showing you how to create your own VBML playlist, effectively turning you into a video coder for the first time. <laughs> so we'll, we'll open Firefox here. Um, I'm currently on uh, Linux Ubuntu, but you could be on other OS like Windows or Mac OS. And you could use the web browser of your choice, whether it's Chrome or Firefox or anything else, really. And we'll type github.com. So this is the landing page of GitHub when you're already registered. But you might see something else instead. You might see something like that. So that's the default GitHub landing page currently. Um, don't let yourself be scared because it screams uh, developer stuff here. Anybody can register. It's just like a common website. And uh, you'll see uh, everything I'm going to show you next is easily done by anyone who uses a computer, really. So what you want to do here is essentially click on sign up. And once you're signed up, you'll end up on the dashboard here. Um, next, you want to click on your profile. So your profile is essentially the landing pages uh, recaping, uh, showcasing the recent activities you had on the platform. So currently, there's not much on this uh, account. And, we'll create, and, we, and so we'll click on repositories here. And I've already created a test repository, but we want to create a new one for the occasion here. Just like you would create a text document, you just hit new and then you name it. You name the repository if you want. So VBML sounds appropriate. It's available. All good. We click on create here. And then you end up on this intimidating page with a bunch of text. Um, the important thing here is creating a new file. So we'll click on that. Next, I have to name my file uh, of, with a relevant name, relevant ID rather, so that I can easily identify it among other playlists or feed I might create in the future. I'll name it Daft. You'll understand why in a second. And next up, I'm allowed to edit the file right away on GitHub, which is, which is convenient. So we'll do that. We'll start with a dash and then type VBML 1.04. So typing the VBML essentially tells GitHub that I'm, uh, the, um, essentially tells that this specific file is a, VBM, is a VBML file. So once a semantic player actually accessed to it, it will be able to recognize that it's just a semantic uh, VBML file. Next, I want to specify a type. Well, it's a playlist. So you write it like this, type playlist. The syntax is essentially YAML syntax. It's I'm partly based on the standard, not, not entirely, but it's fairly close from it. Next, I want to specify a title here. This one seems appropriate. Then I'll specify a cover. A cover is essentially um, a picture that goes along with the title of your playlist to make it more visual, if you want. I'll use that one. Seems appropriate. And then what would be a playlist without tracks? So you, you essentially add tracks in VBML like, like, like so. Uh, it's going to be a list. So in YAML, when it's a list, you go like this and then new line, 1.1234 1 indentation. And then I'll be adding my first track here. So that's a YouTube track. Now, I'm adding a YouTube track first, um, but you could add any track from any backend that a semantic player supports. And currently, Motion Monkey supports a bunch of them. But it could also be a specific file on the internet, like uh, within the extension MP4 of what have, or what have you. And it could even be a BitTorrent video here. So I'll add the first track, new line. I actually have a bunch of tracks to add. So I'll add all of them right away. 
copy pasting essentially from uh, another notepad you can see here. And just like that, I've added a list of tracks. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty visual what happens here. We have a bunch of YouTube tracks, then followed by the Dailymotion one here, a SoundCloud specific one because you might find uh, music on SoundCloud that you don't find necessarily find on YouTube and Vimeo. And we're done. We've just created our first playlist. We'll go there. Uh, there's a commit message we want to create here. So it suggests the create daft title here, which is fine. We'll click on commit. Okay, so we just created a playlist. We can click on it and then click on row. So that's important to do that because here is your real playlist. The URL you're seeing there and the text you're seeing there is essentially the network item, uh, the VBML network item that anyone can access if it's public in order to check out your playlist. So we'll copy that link. It's an important one. It needs to be row. And then we'll run Motion Monkey. Motion Monkey is running. I'll open the search bar here and just past our URL that we just created seconds ago. Hit enter. And just like that, I've opened my playlist. As you can see, it's uh, fairly well-known album here. I have a bunch of, of YouTube tracks, then followed by Danny Motion here, which is an unboxing. I have a, a specific SoundCloud remix here and a creative, a more creative Vimeo video if you want. And so I could just play my album right away. I could go to autoplay if I want to play the album. I could cast it to Comcast or Tvolution, what have you. And that's all good. Now, you might ask yourself, how do I share this online playlist with friends and family? And you do it this way. You click here and video tag. In the current version of Motion Monkey, you can actually save playlist video tags, not just tracks, but playlists too. So here we can see random access memories. We have the URL that I copy pasted before. We're just going to save this tag. And then browse to it. Should be in pictures, naturally. And here, a little bit of a complex file, uh, comprehensive naming, if you want. Double click on that. That's our video tag. Okay, that's an important one. Um, it might seem a little bit abstract, but it's a very powerful thing here. Um, you could drag and drop this file from a semantic player. If you're on desktop, you could just drag and drop it or just open it from a semantic player, from its file path or whatever you have. But you can also send it, send it and share it through the internet, whether it's on social, whether it's through mails, uh, what have you. And people will be able not only to open the file as if it was a video, except it's a picture, but they will also be able to scan this tag from their phone. And the cool part, which I think is a very good part, is even if they don't have a semantic player, they'll be redirected from their generic barcode scanner, if you want. They'll be redirected to the VBAVL landing page saying, oh, you've opened, um, you've, you've just opened uh, VBML, congratulations. In order to view that file, you need to have a semantic player. You can download Motion Monkey, but you could also download another one. In time, um, other tools might support the standard. Maybe VLC will support it one day. Uh, Motionbox supports it. Maybe we'll have additional tools that support this in the future. But anyway, people scanning this for the first time won't be in front of an error. They'll be in front of a possibility, which is very strong. And every time your playlist, given it's on GitHub, every time you change your playlist and just do a new commit on GitHub, they'll be updated accordingly. Whatever you add, if it's a new cover, if it's new tracks, if it's new content, if it's a live video, whatever you want, people will get updated dynamically and they'll be able to just share the playlist with anyone. If they're on their phone, for instance, and somebody comes by, you know, they'll be able to just share that tag. And that way, uh, what you're creating on GitHub can go viral very efficiently. Now, that's 
It goes even beyond that because think about it for a second. This video tag right here could be a video frame inside a video that somebody pushes. This right there could, could, could be an item. It could be printed on paper. It could be a t-shirt if you want, for instance, a shirt, <laughs> whatever you want. It could be someone in the background. And since in the recent semantic player, we actually have the possibility to click these. Uh, I mean, even if it's somebody in a random video that is in the background, you'll be able to access your place. So stand, stand, uh, just lay back and for a second, consider the possibilities from this. It's stronger than the URL. It's stronger than HTML links. It's actually stronger and the possibilities are uh, very important. And behind a simple tag like this, you could have hours, if not years of video. And with the upcoming ups that I'm, I'll be explaining how to do them fairly soon. You'll be able to even share interactive videos, but that's for another day. So thank you for your attention. I'm very curious to see what you come up with and if uh, you'll find it useful for your friends and family. And uh, see you on the next one.